Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jill from The August Diaries, which is a fashion, beauty, and lifestyle space. I'm doing a lot of home and interior design content as we recently moved into a new house and so focusing a lot on that, but I'm really excited about it. Before we get started, please subscribe if you haven't already. And as I mentioned, I have a ton of home and interior design content coming out as well. I have a video on affordable ways to update your kitchen without doing like a full renovation. That one is really exciting. I'm so happy with how the space turned out. As well as designing my dream walk-in closet and then basically just updates around the whole house. So I will link those and stay tuned for more. So today we're diving into a really exciting office redesign. We're gonna transform this room into a modern workspace. So we're gonna be refinishing Everything from like refinishing the floors to designing a custom built-in cabinet, painting some shelves, and then obviously bringing in some contemporary furniture to really make it feel modern, but also like homey and somewhere you'd wanna work. I worked with Allie Watson of 1807 Design, basically on everything in the new house. I've been working with her for the past year or two. She helped me with a previous office makeover at our old house and I asked her if she would help with our new house as well. For those of you who may have missed it, we recently moved into my childhood home. It is a space that I love so much and feels kind of like an oasis. And we're super lucky to be living here and we're gonna be doing multi-generational living with my dad, which is, amazing, especially because we have Lou and another baby on the way. And so the fact that we get to share that with him is just so exciting. It's a really beautiful home. My parents built it over 20 years ago. And we actually, this is really cool, have a lot of the same people working on it now that built the house over 20 years ago. Boda Construction is who built it originally and they are our general contractors. When we refinished the floors, we had the same guy. It, it was so funny. He was like, he like walked in and was like, I did these floors like 20 years ago. And I was like, I was a kid when you did that. But it was so cool. And like, obviously these people are so good at what they do. And it was really nice to be able to kind of have them help with the updates as well. It is a very cool West Coast house with lots of wood beams and columns and there's some curved walls. So it's like quite architectural and we really wanted to maintain that while also updating it a little bit to feel more modern and a little bit more like us. Basically, I was able to create my dream office space. I have this room that has a ton of light and it just makes for such a big, beautiful office. And I like, I'm so excited to show you guys. It's it's amazing. It's flooded with light. It has such good bones. Obviously it needs some updates. The first thing we did before moving in was sand down all of the floors. So they're all original. I think they're made of oak. It's this really beautiful wood. So we were really lucky to be able to sand down and then refinish all of that. We wanted to update the color to be lighter and to feel a little bit more modern and kind of neutral. It had a very yellow undertone. So we decided on a pretty neutral color stain. I'm so thrilled by how they turned out. We were debating doing it before we moved in because it's like a fairly big project and I'm so glad that we did. The second thing was that we, we actually toyed with redoing the fireplace. I love it as a focal point in the room, but we kind of wondered if we wanted to update it. That ended up being, as everything is, more expensive than we thought and so ultimately decided to keep the stone and the fireplace and paint the shelving black. Allie was the one who recommended keeping the stone and I'm so glad that she did. She kind of saw what it could be, the green and some of the rust color in the stone around the fireplace is so cool and interesting and really picks up with the furniture. I'm so, so glad that we kept it. 
I also feel like the black shelving now really modernizes it, makes the actual stone around the fireplace more of a centerpiece. And I also love working around a fireplace, especially in the winter. There's something like so cozy about it. So I'm really excited to do that. One of the biggest jobs that we did was a custom built-in that we did with Storex. I had worked with them previously in my office in our last house, and they also did a custom built-in. And honestly, the one that we did here was super similar. I was so happy with how everything turned out in our last house, so I brought them in again. I chose the same white cabinetry. It's really cool because it has kind of a texture, but from far away, it still looks white. It just looks slightly more luxe than kind of like a plain smooth white. I feel like the office still is warm, but we definitely wanted the office itself to have a more like sleek, mid-century modern feel. So we kept the same black handles. They're super sleek and modern looking as I wanted the office to feel very like mid-century modern and streamlined. So obviously it's a custom built-in, which is built exactly for the space. The one of the walls in the office is actually curved, which is such a cool feature, but also makes it really difficult to do anything around it, whether it's like furniture or hanging something or a custom built-in. So Storex was really great about making sure that they could fill that space and kind of make sure it doesn't look odd to have that curved wall there with a flat cabinet beside it. We ended up customizing it with a marble countertop from Colonial Counters. This is obviously our forever home. This is like a forever built-in and so I wanted something really luxe. And I think it's cool that you can add that kind of thing into Storex pieces, especially because they do like bathroom vanities and kitchens and laundry rooms. So you can kind of add that in yourself if you want to. I feel like the built-in makes the space feel really modern and it's large enough that there's a lot of like storage and shelving, but it doesn't take up too much of the room, which is really nice. Like the room still feels quite large. They also have a lot of really cool custom accessories that you can add, like a jewelry drawer, which I was so excited about, a sunglass drawer, which still makes me like irrationally excited. <laughs> like it's so cool to open and have a sunglass drawer. I don't know why it makes me so happy. So you can easily add those into your projects and it makes it so much easier to stay organized. I also brought in Jamie and her team from Crescent Living Co. And I'm so glad that I did. They also helped us in the kitchen, in our walk-in closet, and they did this huge storage makeover. I'm gonna be posting that video as well and I'm really excited for you to see it. It's crazy the difference that they made. I brought them in because I really wanted them to help me put everything away in a very organized and space efficient way. And I felt like they did a really good job of doing that and kind of making sure that everything had a place and it makes it so much easier moving forward to keep everything organized and to kind of like keep with that habit. So we used some of our own furniture from our previous house. The couch was actually too small to go in our new living room. We used that beautiful burnt orange couch from Parliament in the office. Allie also picked up on like the burnt orange in the stone around the fireplace and so that ties in really well together. I love that couch so much so it always brings me joy whenever I see it in my office. We also used a Jaipur living rug that we got at Parliament. Jaipur rugs are honestly my favorite. The quality is so amazing. This is one of my favorite rugs ever. I feel like it goes in most spaces. It's like dark enough and textured enough that you don't have to worry about stuff like like spilling on it, like I have a toddler and a dog. And then I also brought my vintage chair and marble side table from my old office. So reused a lot of the same furniture, which we definitely wanted to do. We didn't want to just buy completely new furniture, also because we can't afford to do that. But I also picked up this beautiful vintage travertine table from Collection by Irie. She's one of my absolute favorite vintage vendors. I cannot recommend following her enough. Also, it is as heavy as it looks. Big thank you to Varia and her husband for helping us move it into our space. We will definitely not be moving that anytime soon. You need like three grown men to move that. It is 
crazy heavy. I got the desk off Facebook Marketplace. It's old from CB2, but I've been using Facebook Marketplace a ton to buy and sell stuff for the new house. And I just love the sustainability aspect where, you know, something that you may have just thrown out, even if you don't sell for that much money, like at least somebody else gets use out of it and it gets like a second home. My Pierre sculptural piece is vintage from Varia. It's based on a Pierre Cardin kind of like little sculpture, so I call him Pierre. I love him. That is my office. That's basically my dream office space. I hope you love it as much as I do. I would love your feedback in the comments. I have tons of home videos, including affordable ways to update your kitchen, building my dream walk-in closet, and then I also will have a full home tour that I'm gonna do so you can kind of see everything that we've put together so far. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.